In a state organized by a school, every student has to pay a fixed amount of one dollar at the entry gate. Then, for each stall that the student wants to visit, he has to pay two dollars. Form an equation to find the total cost a student has to pay, and also represent it on the graph. Now our question says that if a student wants to attend the school fete, he has to pay a fixed amount of one dollar at the entry gate, and for each stall that he wants to visit, he has to pay two dollars. We need to form an equation to find the total cost a student has to pay, and also we shall represent it. On the graph, before forming an equation for the given statement, we first identify the independent and the dependent variables. In our system, independent variables are taken as inputs which can be given specific values freely. and variables that are determined by other variables in the expression or If their values depend on the values of the independent variables, are called dependent variables. With this key idea, we move on to the solution. The given statement says that if a student wants to attend the school fete, he has to pay a fixed amount of one dollar at the entry gate and has to pay two dollars each for the stall he visits. So here we suppose the total cost. That the student has to pay b y and the number of stalls a student visits. B X, then the total cost will be equal to entry fee plus cost to be paid at each stall. That is, total cost will be equal to the entry fee, that is, one dollar plus 
cost to be paid at each stall which is given by $2 into number of stalls visited by the student As we know that for each stall the student has to pay two dollars each that is total cost which is denoted by y is equal to one dollar that is one plus two dollars into number of stalls visited by the student which is given by x so we have two into x Here we can see that x is the independent variable and y is the dependent variable whose value depends on the value of the variable x. Hence we can say that y is equal to 1 plus 2x is the required equation. Now we shall represent this equation on the graph and for this we shall first draw the table here we take x in the first row y is equal to 1 plus 2x in the second row and the resulting ordered pair x y in the third row let us suppose that the student does not visit any stall or visits only one stall or two stalls at the fate then We'll have x as zero, one, and two. If x is equal to zero, then y is given by one plus twice of x, and on putting x as zero, we get one plus two into zero, which is equal to one plus zero, that is one. So we get the value of y as one, that is. If the value of x is zero, then y is given by one, and the ordered pair so obtained is zero one. Similarly, if x is equal to one, then we have y is equal to one plus two into one. That is, we put the value of x as one, and we get y is equal to one plus two into one. That is two. So we have y is equal to three. For x is equal to one, we have y is equal to three, and the ordered pair is one three. Also, if x is equal to two, then we have y is equal to one plus two into two. That is, y is equal to one plus two into two. That is four. So we get. y is equal to 5 that is for x is equal to 2 we have y is equal to 5 and the ordered pair is 2 5 so here we get if the student does not visit any stall at the fate he has to just pay the entry fee that is 1 dollar and if the student visits one stall he has to pay 3 dollars including the entry fee and the money spent at the stalls and similarly if the student visits two stalls he has to pay 5 dollars including the entry fee and the money spent at the stalls we first draw the perpendicular axis and mark points on it so here we have the horizontal axis that is x axis which represents 
the independent variables and the vertical axis that is y axis which represents the dependent variables now we shall mark these points on the graph first let us take the point 0 1 that is we mark 0 on the x axis and 1 on the y axis and we get this point 0 1 next we mark 1 3 by taking 1 on the x axis and 3 on the y axis and we get this point 1 3 similarly we mark the point 2 5 by taking 2 on the x axis and 5 on the y axis and we get the point 2 5 Now we have got all the three points on the graph. We shall join the three points and obtain a straight line by joining the three points. And this is the straight line we obtained after joining these three points. And this is our required graph. This completes our session. Hope you enjoyed this session.